Hello everyone. Good to see you today. It's a great day. It is a Saturday. I am so happy to be here. Um, had a really, really good morning. Um, my wife and I, we went to a book festival, um, which was fun. It was in like the live, it was around the library downtown. And I wore my Smash Bros shirt, my Melee shirt, and I got three compliments, which was wonderful. Made me feel great. Um, but here we are. We are playing Pokemon Emerald. And I am very excited because we are going to take on the Pokemon League. I have grinded everybody up to level 48. Um, I know we were trying to catch Regirock. Um, at the end of the last episode, but we'll probably circle back to the Reggies because I really wanted to focus on the Pokemon League and you know, like its own its own episode, baby. Um, so here, let's do a little team recap. We have Piccolo the Sceptile. We've got Quick Attack, the newly acquired Dig for that Reggie quest. Screech and Leaf Blade. I like this little set on uh, Sceptile. We've got Ron the Agron with Metal Claw, Iron Tail, Rock Tomb, and Strength. Um, we've got Guzzle the Torkoal with Flamethrower, Body Slam, Curse, and Protect. Lovely. We have Blaine the Altaria with Dragon Dance, Dragon Breath, Fly, and Sing. A little bit of a strange set, but we'll see how it goes. James the Chimeco. I love James. Psychic, Double Edge, Yawn, and Shockwave. I like a lot. And then finally, Harry the Melodic with Twister, Attract, Surf, and Brizard. All right. Absolutely lovely team. Very happy about this team. Um, I don't know how well they're going to do <laughs> in the Pokemon League, honestly. Um, and as you can see here, we've got all of our badges. Ah, uh, 40 hours of playtime. I think that's kind of inflated. Mostly for looking for Feebas and Chimeco, I think. Um, we should be good on items. Yeah, we got Supers, we got Hypers, we got Revives, we got Revival Herbs, we've got Full Restores. We are uh, pretty much G2G. Hey, hello, Cry. Yes, it is indeed. We have a bunch of rare candies. We can use some of these um, if we need to. Really, my plan is to not save in between the Elite Four members. So that way, if we get to the end and it's just like, crap, there's no way we're going to win this. We don't like waste all the items and the money and stuff. Um, but let's talk to these fellas here. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Believe in yourself and go forth. I really like what they say there. That's delightful. Um, I really do miss kind of like the epic, like, checkpoint system that they had in Generation 1, and they do bring that back in other games, which is delightful. Um... Okay, so I am going to save twice because I have anxiety. And I think I'm going to start with our friend Piccolo. Um, okay. All right, are we ready, folks? I'm ready. Three, two, one, let's do it. We're walking in the Pokemon League, baby. So first up, we have Sydney. Can anybody tell me what's supposed to be, like, underneath his arena here? I have never been able to tell what that is. It just kind of looks like yellow... whatever. Or they look like train tracks, maybe? But anyway, let's fight Sydney. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that uh, look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. All right, you and me. Let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here at the Pokemon League. Ooh, great music. Ooh, they really pick it up there. Um, Sydney is fine. He's not a very popular Elite Four member. He's just kind of like a punk looking guy. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, it looks like a giant fly zapper. Oh, that's interesting. I've never heard that before. Um, but, uh, yes, he starts with the Mighty Enna, and what is annoying about this is that, one, it will lower your attack with Intimidate, which is fine, because we're going to try to be using Leaf Blades. 
Um, however, one thing that it really likes to do is use sand attack. Um, and that's what we get right there. But we're in a really good spot because he probably won't heal. Okay, good. And we hit it. So we're we're looking pretty so far. That's one down. Yeah, Mighty N is not, like, the biggest threat here. Really, it's just lowering our accuracy is its big deal. Mm. Absol. This is, again, one of my very favorite Pokemon and his ace. Um, so we don't really have anything that's super effective against Absol, but I think Ron is going to be a pretty good counter. And again, here it is. Oh, I love the little illusion that it makes. Oh, that was kind of like messed up. Um, but uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So he's going to try to set up. I know this Absol has Aerial Ace, which is why it, he went to it against Sceptile. Um, all right, I'll take that. Because the Citrus Berry will put him back in range where another Iron Tail should knock it out. Ooh, he's going to withdraw. He's going to waste that Swords Dance. That's interesting. All right, this won't do a lot, but I'll take it. Okay. Um, well, two can play that game. I'm going to swap over to my, my boy Piccolo. They changed his team up a little bit from Ruby and Sapphire. I think he has a Sharpedo instead of a Crawdont in Ruby and Sapphire. Something that they did a lot in Emerald was that they knew that they forgot to feature Crawdont, like, at all in Ruby and Sapphire. So in Emerald, they kind of, like, overcompensate and give a lot of uh, main trainers Crawdont, specifically Juan and Sydney. Um, what's up, Happy Math? Oh, hey, how good to see you. We are fighting Sydney. We are starting the Pokemon League right now. Yeah, we pretty much just started. Um, so yeah, we'll go back into Ron here. Because I know, I remember his Absol has Aerial Ace and, uh, Rock Slide. Um, and we also know that it has, um, Sword Stance. But this is not going to do anything against Ron. We're, we are looking pretty. Um, I don't remember what its fourth move is. Okay, you can flinch me all day, but eventually we're going to kill you. There we go. That'll work. Yeah, Sydney is not too terribly powerful. The other, the other thing about Absol is that it's a physical attacker, and Dark-type is special in this game, so it doesn't really... It doesn't use its stab moves very well. Um, here, we'll go into Guzzle, because I know this Cacturn really likes to use Cotton Spore to lower speed, and uh, Guzzle's already so slow that uh, it won't even matter. <laughs> I'd love to see a one-shot here. All right, great. Perfection. And now I can just swap out on that Leech Seed. We're looking good. I think his last, yes. His last is Shiftry. He has two different, um, whatchamacallit, dark grass types. You know what? I think I actually will stick in with Guzzle. Um, because I know that he's probably going to try to use some double teams here. And the Leech Seed is annoying, but that's okay. And I would rather try, yes, there we go. Because I knew basically using Fly against Shiftry would have given him a free double team. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully another one shot. There we go. We're looking pretty so far. Me grinding up the squad is uh, has paid off so far. And there we go. The shell bell gets us back to full. We are looking great. Did we take damage? Oh, Ron did. Just a little. Um... Again, Happy Math, do you know what is underneath Sydney's arena here? We, we don't have a definitive answer. We, we said it looks like a giant fly zapper or maybe like train tracks. Um, let's see. So now we are on to the second member. And again, oh god, Piccolo took some damage. I'm going to try to remember not to save because I want to make sure that we don't get like completely walled. Um, okay. 
so now, hmm, thinking about what they are going to start with, what do I want to start with? Da -do, da -ba -ba -da -do. You know what, I'll start with Piccolo. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Good to see you. Hello. Um, so this here is Phoebe. I really like Phoebe. She is a ghost type trainer. We have the, uh, the kind of mysterious kind of old broken bricks underneath her stage, which is cool. I am Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre, which shows. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just try to see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. I think I'll be able to, Phoebe. I also do like how she is just kind of this uh, happy looking, kind of like Hawaiian looking lady. And uh, she just has all these scary ghost types. It's a nice little, what's the word, juxtaposition. Um, I'm pretty sure Dusclops loves to start with Protect, so I'm going to start with a Screech. Okay, and I was correct. There we go. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out on my power points here as we go along. We should have plenty of items. Ooh, a critical hit. Um, we have... Um... Oh, <laughs> you can only see train tracks because I said it. Hey, I get, I get that. Um, so we're probably going to get a heal here. Um, and Dusclops has the pressure ability, so we had 12 Leaf Blades, but now we only have 10. I really hope that we can hit through this confusion, because this is going to annoy me greatly. Great. And, oh, I wanted that to do so much more. I'm pretty sure that we're going to get another Protect here, so I think I can heal my confusion. Oh, Shadow Punch. Um, so, Phoebe Dusclops, I don't know if we've seen Dusclops yet. Um, Dusclops is the evolved form of Duskull. Um, it's a cool Pokemon, I really like it. Um, she has two of them, and they both have very different sets. Um, one is more kind of like defensive, it's got Protect, it's got Confuse Ray, um, and Shadow Punch, I think, never misses, if I'm not mistaken. Holy crap. Um, let's just try a dig. Um, but the other Dusclops is built much more offensively. Oh, she can probably protect here. Oh, no, she didn't. That's great. Love that. Oh, my gosh. You're kidding me. Oh, that's really annoying. How did that not kill it? All right. We're fine. We're fine. And I have... Okay, there's, another, there's a Protect. That's fine. I think Blaine should be faster. Yeah, we're good. Fine, we take that one out. Really likes to drain the power points. But we have tons of power point healing items. So here is the other Dusclops. Much more offensive, like I said. Um... We're probably seeing it against Altaria because it has Ice Beam, and Altaria is four times weak to Ice Beam. I think it has Earthquake, too. It's actually quite powerful. Um, so we're just going to rock some Surfs and see what we can get done here. I could use Attract. Um, that is an, that's an interesting move that Harry picked up along the way. But, uh, we, no, we should be good, because this should take it down to... Um, a health. Oh, a critical hit. Never mind. Harry's the goat. Perfect. Because that was her Pokemon. That was like her ace. Um, that's what would be holding her uh, berry, her citrus berry. So what would have happened there is that we would have gotten the health down to a point where the citrus berry would heal it back up to about middle. And hopefully she wouldn't have used the full restore. Um, I know one of these Bennets has some tricky moves. We don't mind Thunderbolt too terribly much there, because even though it's a really good coverage move for Bennett, it's not going to be able to make the best use of it. I'm going to try to see if I can Metal Claw here to take it out. I might be getting a little greedy, we'll see. And I was! I'm actually going to heal, because she's probably going to heal too. 
Oh no, no heal. So we'll be fine. Another metal claw will do the trick on on our on our girl Bonette over here. All right, come on. There we go. I was really hoping it wouldn't miss. Really hoping it wouldn't miss. All right. And then she has another Bonette. One thing that I don't like about Phoebe is that she has two sets of doubles. She has two Dusclops and two Bonettes. Um, she also has a Sableye. Um, but there is one other Pokemon ghost type that she could have used. Ah, Grudge. I think this what this does is um, whatever move... I use to knock out Bennett, I think it gets rid of the power points on it. Yeah. So I think I'm going to lose all my power points of Flamethrower, but again, that's okay. We have some ethers and stuff. Um, but like I was saying, there's one more ghost type that you can use in Hoenn. Yeah, Flamethrower lost all its PP due to the grudge. That's not a move you see used too often. Um, and so now I can't use Torkoal because I have no other moves to damage a ghost type. But for Sableye, let's see here. Let's do Blaine. We're doing pretty well so far. Nothing too crazy. Because Sableye is really good in the early game um, because it's a single stage. It's a lot like Torkoal. Um, but in the late game, it's not too terrible. Oh, and I forgot to say what the other ghost type she could have used was. Um, there is Shedinja, which is one of the evolutions of Ninkata. We're going to go ahead and use Dragon Dance, because this should power up Fly enough to where I will definitely knock out the Sableye from... Oh, it had just enough. Oh, I forgot it had Nightshade. Dang it! Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying, kids. Phoebe likes to do annoying things. Really likes to do annoying things. There we go. Love to see it. Alright. Oh darn, I've gone and lost. Yeah, we weren't really in much danger there, just a lot of annoying things happened. Alright, go ahead and move on to the next room, says Phoebe. Um, Alright, so now we gotta do some healing. And we have tons of rev revives. I could use my, like, revival herbs or my max revives, but we don't really want to use those right now because um, those are great to use in battle when you need to not just revive a Pokemon, but get it back to full health. Um, I'm gonna use a Soda Pop on Harry. And now I gotta heal some power points. We'll get an ether on Leaf Blade. And an ether on Guzzle. So, ethers and elixirs, you cannot buy. There's a finite amount of them. We can get stuff like uh, Lepa Berries here that heal power points. But usually when you're in the Elite Four, that's really the only time where healing your power points is much of an issue. So we're not too worried about using them up right now. Um, and here we have Glacia, and she has got uh, the ice underneath her. She's obviously an ice trainer, but she is a lot like Phoebe in which um, she has a couple doubles of Pokemon. And it's just like, I feel like they could have given our Elite Four members a little more variety here in Generation 3, but that's just me. All right. Um, so she is going to start with, I believe, a Celio. But I'm actually going to check on that. Um, because I don't want to start with the wrong thing and then just having a screwed up. Um, Bulbapedia is so great. I love it so much. Yes. Um, okay. So we are once again going to start with Piccolo. This is going to be lovely. Let's do it, kids. 
Oh, who is my favorite Elite Four member? What a great question. Um, that is pretty difficult. I really love Koga in general. Um, I loved him as a gym leader. I love him as an Elite Four member. I love his Elite Four team, which I probably said a million times when we played Crystal. Um, because even though his Elite Four team isn't very good, it's such great theming. Because it shows off some of the new Generation 2 Pokemon, but it also shows off how Golbat can evolve into Crobat. It's just thematically a really cool team for him. Um, but I need to think... Koga's the one that first jumps first jumps to mind, but I'm sure there's some other ones that, that I love as well. Um, so this Celio has some ice moves, um, but I'm pretty sure the only one it has is Ice Ball. I'm trying not to cheat too much. Um, but, uh, okay, yeah, and it likes to set up Hail. So I don't know if she has... Oh, what's your favorite Elite Four member, Happy Math? Sorry. I'm curious to know yours. Um, sorry, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. I really like Flint in Generation 4. Yeah, I thought we'd get a full restore here. And it's actually pretty nice that we can waste her full restores against this Celio. I'd ra much rather have the Celio um, get the full restores than some of her others. Do do. There we go, critical hit. All right, and now, oh, another Celio. Um, hmm. You know what? I might go ahead and just stay in here, but maybe not. I'm curious what we can do with James here. Oh, you love Lance because of the cape. I, I get it. Lance is a is a stylish is a stylish guy. Um. All right. So we get hurt by hail. I'm gonna try to use a yawn here. Um, Cause this Celio probably has a better ice move, I would think. Oh, it has a track, that sucks. Well, oh, that's not a huge deal. We can just swap out and it's gonna fall asleep next turn anyway. Um, I love Lance too, Happy Math. I really enjoy the original Elite Four. I should say, I think an Elite Four person that is somehow underappreciated is Lorelei. I love Lorelei. I think she's so cool. Alright. Alright, here I'm gonna go back into Piccolo. Oh, Blizzard. Oh no. That's not what we want to see. That's probably gonna be a one shot, but we can pray. Oh, we hold on. We. Oh, but we might die to the hail. <laughs> Are we really gonna die to the hail? No! Great, okay. That is wonderful, but now that it's asleep, we do definitely need to heal because next turn, we will die to the hail. All right. Oh, the hail stopped, wonderful. And we can get some leaf blades off now that Celio is asleep. Hanging on by a thread, dude, you're telling me. Um, Cry, do you have a, a pref uh, preference on Elite Four members? Oh no. Okay, set up the hail again, see if I care. I don't care. I don't care. Do, do, do. So I guess, yeah. I'll think about it for another second here, but I'm pretty sure, yes, my favorite Elite Four members. Oh, okay, I do have, all right, I've got five. I got, I got my five. I love Lorelei. I love Koga, I love Flint, but I also love Rika from Gen 9 and Larry. And I also love Hassel. I love the Gen 9 Elite Four, I really do. Um, yes. Oh yes, first game you played was Yellow, yeah. Um, that was the first game I played too. Okay, so here we have Walrein. I am gonna save Piccolo because that's probably going to be really useful um, for Piccolo to just kind of come in and knock out the wall rain. I don't really have m many good options to damage it. Um, I am going to try to put it to sleep with James like I did the Celio. Because this wall rain actually has the move Sheer Cold, 
which in Generation 3 is a new one-hit KO move. It functions like Fisher or Horn Drill. Um, so hopefully we do not get sheer colded. Okay, I was waiting for it to happen the moment I said it. But this might kill. Okay, great. Um, oh, you just started playing again, and you forget the ones you saw in the past. Oh, how about that? Uh, well, that's good. Um, hey, if you're playing Gen 9, I love the Gen 9 Elite Four. Um, like I said, three out of four of them I really, like, really, really love. And, I mean, you know, I still like all four, but... All right. So, Body Slam, that's still gonna hurt James a lot. Oh, not too bad, actually. All right, just get through the hail. All right, now that we're asleep, I am going to try to get Piccolo in here to see if we can get some good damage on Wall Rain. I would love to two-shot it, but I don't know if that might be a little bit um, uh, ambitious. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's going to have a Citrus Berry, which will probably knock it out of my knockout range. Um, so that's kind of tough, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Quick Attack. So now I'm pretty sure we can knock it out. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, it used Sheer Cold and not like an Ice move like Blizzard. And Sheer Cold's really inaccurate, like a lot of those other one-hit KO moves. Great! Expertly played by me. <laughs> okay. Oh, am I up to date on all the gens? Oh, you're only Pokemon Fluid until Gen 3. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I pretty much am up to date on all the gens. I really... I love all of them. I have really stayed up um, with Pokemon through my entire adulthood. Really, the only time I stopped playing was... Um, Generation 5 for a little while, and I don't really like Generation 5 for that reason. Um, not that it's bad. Um, it's just I don't have the connection um, like the other gens. Uh, but yeah, I've played them all, and I really enjoy them all, even the ones that I don't like as much. Um, so here, her last two Pokemon are going to be Glalie. Um, we have really good options against both Glalie because both Ron and Guzzle are going to be great on the pure ice type Glalie. So it was really those that wall rain that was going to be tough for us. Um, let's see. You're starting your journey right now with Gen 3. That is a great place to start. I have, all, I have said for a while, um, if you start with Pokemon... Fire Red or Leaf Green. That's a great place to start if you've never played Pokemon before or if you're, like, getting back into it. Um, oh, you're gonna hopefully get to the latest gen soon enough. That's super cool. Um, yeah, you're gonna kind of be going along with us for a while, because even though I do want to play some other games, I'm always gonna be playing, um, some, uh, Pokemon games as well on here. All right, we're going to stay in with Ron because that uh, Rock Tomb strategy actually worked quite well to where we can lower its speed one stage and then outspeed it the next turn. Um, ah, you've watched some of the movies. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I stopped watching the movies. I think the last one I ever saw was Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, which was pretty cool. Um, oh, okay. Any suggestions on the games? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well... All of my personal favorite ones are the original four third versions. So, Yellow, Crystal, Emerald, which are the three we've played on the channel so far, and then Platinum. Crystal, Emerald, Platinum, to me, are the best Pokemon games. Um, however, after you play Platinum, I highly recommend you play Legends Arceus for the Switch. Um, that game is also sick. Um, what's up, Brody? Good to see ya. Um, so yeah, I guess I would suggest those. Uh, Crystal, Emerald, Platinum, Legends Arceus. Those are probably my favorite Pokemon games. Um, even though I like the original Sun and Moon a lot as well, I, I like, I like, I like all of them. And Glacia goes down to our overwhelming might, which is awesome. So, Platinum it is. I love that. Um... You will not be disappointed with that one. That one is epic. It's so cool. 
Um, so let's see how we're doing PowerPoint wise. We've got nine. You've got eight Iron Tails. We should be fine. Um, yeah, we're looking okay. Okay. Uh, Emerald and Crystal, you've played earlier. You love them. Oh, absolutely. They're great. Um, but yeah, I guess of the later games, a lot of people like Black and White and Black 2 and White 2. Um, I'm a little biased just because, like I said, that was kind of like when I stopped playing for a while. Um, but they are really good. Um, okay, we will just heal the squad here. Perfect. Um, da -da 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 All right, so I'm trying to think of a good strategy to employ against our next Elite Four member because it is a dragon type. Um, trainer. We do have Harry the Melodic, which actually remi reminds me. He has a couple Pokemon that are going to be weak, specifically four times weak to ice. So I want to give Harry the Nevermelt Ice to power up that Blizzard. Perfect. Um... Oh yes, it will be great to see Platinum because I think Platinum is far better than the original Diamond and Pearl. Um, hmm. Okay, I have a strategy that I think I'm going to try. So now, we have Drake. The dragon type salty sea captain himself, and he has these spikes underneath his arena. Um, so we are going to start with Blaine, and we're gonna get going, baby. Um, <laughs> I did stream a little bit early. I said we'd start between two and three. I started at like two fifteen. I was just, uh, I was just feeling antsy. Um, okay. Ooh. Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. All right, so this dude's sick. Um, he's not wearing a shirt under his uh, his tattered, war-torn <laughs> coat. All right. So he starts with a shell gun. And this is more of a defensive Pokemon. He really likes to use Protect on the first turn, which is why I want to try to use Dragon Dance. And there it is. Uh, let's see. Oh, you want to go to the underground in those games? Oh, I get that. So many people love the underground um, in the Generation 4 games. I never I never really did it too much. So now that increases our speed and our attack. Um, I might try to set up a little bit more here. I know Shelgon has some... has like Rock Tomb. Yes. So that's not great. Oh, critical hit. I hate that. Um, oh, you predict Steven's the champ? Oh, well. We'll see. Oh, I'm going to try to put you to sleep. Oh, come on. And that might kill me. I think I just ruined my entire strategy. Awesome. Great job, Trent. You did a great job. You did a really good job setting up on the shell gun. Everything went according to plan. Not to worry. Uh, <laughs> dang it. Let's see. I'll try James here. Will we have an Altaria versus Altaria? Oh, maybe I'll have to I'll have to revive Altaria. Um Let's see here. I'll try to yawn. I know, Brody. I really messed up. I really boofed it. Alright, that is fine. We don't mind that. Hopefully we're still faster. We're not. Shelgon is not too terrible. I'm probably, I was probably really overthinking it with Altaria. Um, James should be able to take it out here with a couple of sidekicks. Oh, Metapod versus Metapod in the anime. That's iconic. Um, we got the critical hit sidekick anyway, so I was worrying for nothing. All right, Flygon. So this is an example of one of his two Pokemon that are double weak to ice because Flygon is a dragon and ground type. And just look at this thing. 
It's so sick. It's so cool. It's like a dragonfly type thing, but it's not a bug type, but don't talk to fans about that. It's They're still bitter about it. Um, okay, Earthquake. So that's not good. Um, Brody, this is not the end. Ooh, Harry ate that Earthquake. Oh, yeah. Harry's looking great. This should knock it out for sure, especially with the Never Melt Ice. Love to see that. Yeah, Flygon is sick. Um, all right, that was awesome. Love to get the level there as well. And Altaria. Ah, uh, Altaria is also, um, Altaria is also quad weak to, um, ice, but I'm actually going to go into Ron here. Because Ron's going to have a nice matchup. We can use that rock tomb. I know why Nona's Altaria has Earthquake. Hopefully this one doesn't. Okay, he's gonna try to set up on me. Um, doo -doo -doo. All I gotta do is just not miss my Rock Tombs and we should be okay. Okay. Gonna keep setting up. Great. Um, this might knock him into heal range here, which I don't love. Alright, yeah, it does. Alright, there's that full restore. There we go. Ron is hitting his rock tombs. I love to see it. Love to see it. it. Makes me so happy. I keep on going to take a drink of water, and then I set it back down again. Alright. Um, we can keep lowering that speed. Great. Especially because he keeps trying to raise it up again with uh, Dragon Dance. I don't know if he's going to try to use another um, Full Restore. That is fine. Great. So Ron's putting in work against Altaria. That's great. Love to see it. Um, Kingdra. So Kingdra is always terrible. I'm going to go into James. I'm going to see if I can get it to get it to false. Da, 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 da. If you recall, we really had to. Okay, smoke screen. Interesting strategy. Okay, good. Um, we really had to grind out our victory against Wands Kingdra because it got that double team rest set up on us <laughs> and it really just I Brody I thought the same thing that Altaria set up uh, to plus four attack but then it uses the special move Dragon Breath that wasn't even very effective anyway um, so I do have a little strategy here I might try to use a few screeches ah oh, crap let me just go back to Leaf Blade. I would l love to use some Screeches against Kingdra to kind of give us some versatility against it. Um, there we go. In case we need to do some physical damage. Oh, boy. Dang it. That is terrible. That is terrible. And we're paralyzed! Gosh dang it, man. Um... Guzzle's not really going to be great for the rest of the fight, so I might have to sack Guzzle here. We should tank one Body Slam. Oh yeah, we can tank more than that. Um, I'm going to get a full restore on Piccolo, because we're going to want him for this Kingdra, I think. There we go. Alright, no problem, Guzzle. Thank you for your service. Um, all right. The issue with Chimeco now is that it's probably not going to be able to live um, a body slam, especially not with Kingdra at plus whatever it is right now. Um, Alright, so my strategy here is I think I'm going to try to use Dig because I have it at minus two defense. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's gonna be the strategy. Just really hope I don't get paralyzed. Please just don't do it. Just don't do it. Well, that's sad. Let's see what we can do here. Just don't be paralyzed, please. All right, did my strategy work? Not quite, but this is always why we keep quick attack. Because as long, as long as I hit through the paralysis, we will hit first. Oh, it used a full restore. Oh, no. Probably what we should have done. All right. Um, so we're not doing great right now. Oh, boy. Um, okay. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for a different strategy. Yeah, I'll just let him go, you're right. Um, I'm gonna see, I don't think Kingdra has a terribly powerful dragon move. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get it back to sleep with Altaria. Hopefully uh, Blaine can live a body slam from this Kingdra now. Um, oh boy. It is really setting up on us, gang. <laughs> Please get it to sleep. Okay, good. Yeah, oh, he's got Outrage? Oh, okay. I was thinking it had Dragon Breath. Um, all right. So let's see what we can do here. All right. That's not too terrible. I think... <sighs> that is terrible. I would love a paralysis here. Would love a paralysis here. Yes! It might still be faster. Let's see. No! Great! Yes! Oh! That was perfect! Wonderful. Alright, so now last he has Salamence. Now Harry should... Thank you, Cry. Harry should be able to take this out in one blizzard. I don't know what the Salamence knows. Uh, he did get too greedy, Brody. You're right. Tried to Dragon Dance one too many times. Salamence is sick, as you can see. It's just a dragon. It's just a cool dragon. Um, so implying that we can live this Dragon Claw, which I think we can. Yes. Okay. This should knock it out in one shot, but we'll see. If not, we can just heal from here. There we go. There we go. I will say we got some really nice accuracy luck that fight. Because um, we didn't miss like any of those rock tombs earlier. Um, very nice. Alright. What a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Oh, so true. So true, dude. All right. So, now we got the champion. But we gotta do some... We gotta do some healing. Great. James has been able to put in some good work with that yawn of his... Oh, but that paralysis on Dragon Breath was the clutch play, man. That was awesome. Alright. So. This last trainer we have. Well, I'll just, I'll just let you see. Um, what are we going to start with? We are going to start with Piccolo. Yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna be the play. Um, you know what? I said I wasn't gonna save, but I think I actually am right here. We have a longer walkway to get to the champion. Alright, so I'm gonna save because I think there are some things that can go wrong in this fight, and I feel like we should be able to win. Um, okay. So we are going to start with Piccolo. So, in Ruby and Sapphire, the champion 
is our friend Steven, who we fought alongside against Team Magma, saw him throughout our journey. However, in Pokemon Emerald, the champion is our friend Wallace, the water-type trainer, um, who I love. His team is so cool. Um, but it's a, it's a real curveball to replace Steven as the champion, especially because he was really popular. All right. Wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokemon. Um, we learned many things from Pokemon, and this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved now. Who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here and now. Champion theme incoming. I don't think it's the best champion theme. I mean, it's still pretty sick. I mean, come on. Uh, <laughs> you were talking about Ruby, yeah. So he's gonna open up with the Way of Lord, who is one of our new friends. I forgot to use ethers. Um, <laughs> so we'll see if that hurts us. Um, Way Alert is one of our new friends that we got from the old Reggie quest. It is another cape, Happy, happy Math. You're right. Um, don't want to see Blizzard. And we get Blizzard. I mean, it's probably going to use Blizzard every time. Luckily, it won't have the same type of attack bonus, so I'm praying we can live one. And we can! Piccolo! You dog, you! Um, that is great. That is great. Um, and we're going to be able to pick up a level here as well. Now, Piccolo is going to be less useful than you might think against Wallace. Um, also, Wallace's ace is famously a melodic, so I'm really, cool. I'm really happy that we have one as well. However, we don't have really anything to deal with it. Um... So I'm probably going to try to employ a similar strategy that we used against the Kingdra. Maybe I can get James to put Melodic to sleep, um, and then we can bring in um, uh, Piccolo to do some leaf blading. You gotta live one surf, James. Thank you. Um, <laughs> melodic versus Melodic? <laughs> I don't think it'll be very, <laughs> very lucrative for us. <laughs> I think we're gonna get destroyed if I try to do that. Um, well, let me heal Piccolo because James is gonna is gonna do do his job here. Um, yes, and yeah, the reason uh, Melodic was he was trying to use Melodic against our uh, Sceptile here was it has Ice Beam. And as you saw, the Wailord has Blizzard, he has a Tentacruel, which has Sludge Bomb, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we only have five Leaf Blades left. I, again, I forgot to use an Aether or a Lepaberry. Wow, that does not do that much damage, does it? Um, probably the best case scenario here would be a Critical Hit, and then the Citrus Berry. Um, okay, so we did not get the Critical we wanted. another thought because we're probably gonna get ice beam yes okay we can live one hmm I'm gonna do it again because we have our revives um, that we're really saving for this fight and I can't waste all those leaf blades because I need one more I need to at least have one um, oh, Overgrow, yeah, you're right, Brody. I could utilize that um, when we, if we can revive him. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, this is just not a fight for Guzzle. Um, I love our gal Guzzle. She's been so great throughout our entire playthrough. Um, but we're gonna use this Revival Herb once again on Piccolo. But against a completely mono water champion, not not gonna be great. Um, okay. So we should have brought Ziggy, yeah. 
Um, so my Harry cannot hurt his Harry, like, at all. But you know what? I think I will try a strategy here. I am going to use Harry to get some revives off. Because it's going to be able to wall Melodic pretty well. That was a critical hit, though. Um, so Torkoal will be really great to... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. Um, oh, man. This is tough. I don't think we outspeed. No, we don't. Um... Because if we outsped, we could possibly do some flinch stuff against Melodic here. Um, but I do have a little bit of a strategy. Let's see. Can we freeze this Melodic? Because that would be awesome if we could. And that was a Never Melt Ice Boosted Blizzard that did absolutely nothing. All right, that missed. All right, I got one more shot at this. Okay, so right now my strategy is to very slowly whittle down his Melodic. Um, I should probably just use Surf. Um, so that way, on the turn that my Melodic dies, I can just hit it one more time with um, Septile and it should go down. That's, that's the theory, anyway. Okay, so here we got a full restore. Ah, <laughs> oh, and he's gonna withdraw Melodic. Oh no, okay. Um, he probably figured out what I was trying to do. It was just like hard and hard. <laughs> okay, so here, this Ludicolo really likes to do um, Leech Seed and Double Team strategies. So I'm going to try to put it to sleep as well. Yeah, okay, so it's double teaming now. Um, hopefully I can get a sing off. That's wonderful. Um, all right. So one thing, I think I can maybe try to get some setup in on the Ludicolo while it's asleep. Um, because if I can raise my speed, and you've got to be kidding. Um, if I can raise my speed and attack... Ooh, that is a clutch hit again, Blaine. Um, if I can raise my speed and attack enough, um, Blaine might be able to do a little bit of sweeping here with Fly. And what I definitely want to do is be able to knock out the Ludicolo in one Fly. Um which is kind of like the strategy. And that's why, since he's using double team a ton, I know I'm not going to be able to hit it too much, um, which is why I wanted to raise my attack um, so that when I do finally hit it with fly, it actually kills it. That's the, that's the theory again, anyway. Um, and since it's using surf, it probably doesn't have an ice move. All right, moment of truth. How do we do? All right, that knocks it out. That's great. Um... All right, going to Tentacruel. Um, I'm gonna stay in. Because I do know that this Tentacruel has Ice Beam. I... I could try to sing it. What do we think, folks? Should I try to sing or just use Fly? Because I don't think a Fly will kill, um, but it could get some good damage off on it. Um, it is Bentacool, isn't it? Um, what are we thinking here? Yes, what? Fly or sing? Because sing is just kind of like a coin flip. Fly? Okay, we'll do fly. Alright. And there's that ice beam. Oh, 
Oh, I was really hoping that would have knocked it out. That would have been so sick. Um, all right. But getting rid of the Ludicolo is really great. Um, I don't know if the, if it's gonna, if he's gonna try to heal or not. So, okay, good. I'm gonna use that yawn and try to set up a little bit. Do, 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 do. Great, and from here, I'm hoping we can live one attack. <laughs> um, okay, oh, we missed Toxic. Oh, ma, that's great. And hopefully we can get some Psychics in to destroy this thing. <laughs> this is epic. Because um, our team is not that strong, especially not against Wallace. Like, Agron and Torkoal are both, like, essentially useless against Wallace. Um, okay, he's using another Force Door. That sucks. Um, hopefully we can get, like, a... Like, a special defense drop here. That would be clutch. Oh, a critical hit is also clutch! Um, all right, I'm going to use another Psychic. Live one Hydro Pump. Come on, James. Live one. Yes. Good job, James. Oh, Chimeco. Chimeco come through. Chimeco gang. Let's go. That was awesome. Okay, cool. Lovely. Whiskash. Go, James. That's right. This is exactly why I wanted to make sure we saved at least one Leaf Blade. Um, because Wishcash is double weak to grass. It's a, gra it's a water ground type. So one Leaf Blade should take us home here against Whis Wishcash. Let's see, though. And it doesn't. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, there's Amnesia. But is Wallace still using full restores? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All right, so Piccolo's about to run out of Leaf Blades because of that, because of those amnesias. And there's another one. I take back everything bad you said about Chimeco. I appreciate it. Uh, since his, since he's plus four special defense, he might be able to live this now. Oh, critical hit. That probably mattered. That probably mattered. Okay. All right, Melodic. Oh, Piccolo is tough here because he just doesn't have any Leaf Blades left. I messed that up, guys. Um, all right, so we're... Excuse me. We're going back into Melodic. What do I do here? I'm probably gonna try to use Guzzle to help us set up a little bit. Let's see. So I'm gonna heal James. Go for the Screech strategies? I suppose we could. Um, so now, James, you gonna put this bad boy to sleep. A lot of the rest of the battle is going to really involve me using sleep strategies. Um, so from here, I'm actually gonna swap into Piccolo because I'm probably likely to see Surf. Um, and we can eat that. Oh, you predicted it! Gosh dang it, man. Okay, that's fine, because you're asleep now. Alright. Um, I do like the Screech tactic that you're talking about, um, but I do need to heal. There we go. I'm gonna try- I'm gonna try to get it to minus six. Um. Oh, let's see. Okay. Okay, recover. Dig, then dig. Yeah, I don't mind that. Um, let's see what a dig does. Ooh, we outspeed. I actually didn't realize that. Um, on my first playthrough of Pokemon games, what was the toughest to beat for you? Um, 
Honestly, probably Diamond and Pearl. The champion in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum is famously awesome. <laughs> like, she, uh, it's, it's a really sick fight and very tough. My guess is Wallace is going to try to go for recover here, but I'm gonna, still going to try to dig because this will knock it out. Um, yeah, recover. So this is interesting because we can outpace it. Do we live this? We do with the poison. Mm, that's tough. Um, all right, so now... All right, here's the strategy now. We are going to Revival Herb Septile because we know we outspeed and kill from here. All right. Oh, James lives on one HP. That's actually really great because we are going to need Blaine for the last Pokemon. Um, okay. So I know Piccolo is going to outspeed and kill, which is great. Um... Implying it doesn't recover, which it is. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we get another full restore here. That's interesting. And now, Melodic's gonna Ice Beam to kill us. Dang it, guys. This is a tough one. Okay. Harry, we can do the Harry strats once again. We can get everybody healed. This is a real, oh, we're frozen. Um, this is a real long fight. <laughs> there we go. That's fine. Honestly, the big thing was not having enough freaking leaf blades, man. Um, so that's actually okay. I'm glad that he took the time to heal. Because now we can restore leaf blades PP. Ooh, and I'm just now realizing that... Um, I don't know why I healed Guzzle. That was really just instinctual. <laughs> um... Now we might be getting to the point, as you can see, Melodic just keeps using Recover. Um, we might have finally gotten him to use... Oh, uh, no, there's no way he's used all of his PP already, really? I don't think so. Um, let's do that. Okay, so now the whole squad's healed. Um, okay, I was about to say, there's no way. Um... He's, he's used all of his Ice Beams? Because if that's the case, I'm just going to swap into Piccolo and start hacking away. That's fine. Maybe we can get some... That's right. That's great. Need some critical hits here. Okay, since he elected to use Toxic there, we are in a pretty decent spot. All right. Come on! Oh my gosh! <laughs> How did that not kill it? <sighs> okay. And you're just gonna keep recovering while the toxic whittled us, whittles us down. I will use one more leaf blade here before we heal our toxic. Okay. Use that full restore. We are really using all of our potions here, gang. I should, I do need to, what does a quick attack do? It does a lot. Um, <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> There's that recover. I'm just gonna use quick attack so we're not wasting all of our valuable power points. We're at, we are literally at this point just waiting for Melodic to struggle. This is so funny because we have gotten in this situation with both Wallace and Juan. Um, 
And I'm really glad that this is not some kind of challenge run where we need to try to not use healing items. Because <laughs> I have been hard leaning on healing items. There we go, Melodic goes down, baby! Mm. Oh yeah, all those Pokemon get. All right, so Wallace's last Pokemon is Gyarados here. Um, yes, I will change Pokemon. We, my strategy here is I want to get in here with Blaine and I want to put it to sleep. I know, a tough one so far. This has been truly epic. <laughs> um, that is okay. And this is the entire reason I decided to teach Chimeco Shockwave. Um, all right, that's fine. I mean, it using Surf is a really good sign. That tells me that it doesn't have an Ice move. Um, all right, we're missing our Sings, though. All right, but that is something that we don't want a lot of. We do not want it using Dragon Dance to just sweep us away. Good. Um, oops, so now we can swap into James. And this is why we taught Shockwave. Gosh, dang it, man. Uh, wakes up, immediate hyper beam. That kills James. Wonderful! Um, that's okay, because on this turn, he's going to need to recharge, so I can try to put him back to sleep. Great. Um, awesome. I'm actually going to go into Ron because we do have these super effective rock tombs and they can nerf his speed. Um, that's great. Um, we only have a couple more though. And we missed one, that's not what we wanna see. I'm pretty sure this Gyarados has Earthquake. So it can knock out Ron pretty easily, but if its speed is low enough, oh. Finally, <laughs> Ron gets the final blow. My goodness. Guys, Lane goes to 49. That was a crazy fight. That was a crazy fight. <laughs> that took so long. <laughs> wow. Kudos to you, SCG. We got 11,600 Poke Dollars. Oh, that Pokemon you sent in the battle. At times they danced like a spring breeze, and at times they struck like lightning. It was with light, yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokemon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. Now you stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region, da da da. But here comes May. She's here to congratulate us. Oh, she's actually here to give us advice, but we already won. The advice was use a whole bunch of healing items to stall. That was really uh, the strategy. <laughs> All hail the mighty Ziggy. Hey, that was great. And it was awesome that it was our last rock tomb that did it. Um, so good old Professor Birch and good old May, they come in here and they're just like, good job, gang. Um, I've seen 150 Pokemon. Yeah, a lot of times, I, whenever I play through these games, I don't worry too much about catching them all. So the, profess the professor is always just like, uh, you do know how to do this, right? All right. So now we get to enter the Hall of Fame. It's okay, that's the rule. Love the reflective floor. Oh, it's so wonderful. I really like this uh, uh, triumphant music that they've got here. And I also love how they do it in this game because it shows your entire team just like in one cool little shot. It's really great. Um, uh. Ah, oh, James! Love you, James! And Harry, of course. 
This right here. That is a beautiful shot right there. I love that squad. It's got some... A lot of good flavors in there. Lovely. League champion, congratulations. Love to see it. And Ziggy, it's true. And these credits, come on, man. Let's just appreciate these credits. Good music, too. Yes. And it shows you all the Pokemon that you caught along your journey. Um, it's, uh... This is so great because it just kind of gives you a lot more of those shots of you like riding your bike. It basically, it's like it's really showing how you've become Pokemon League champion and you are just on your way back home. I've accomplished what I set out to accomplish and now let's go home. This really like beautiful, like quiet, contemplative music. Um, it's really, really lovely. So. That's it for the main story of Pokemon Emerald. Um, we still have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> I'm not crying, you are. Hey, it's true, man. Um, so we've defeated the main story. However, we can still catch Rayquaza. We can still catch all the Reggies. I do at least want to show off how to like unlock all of their rooms, because so far we've only done Reggie Rock. Um... Hmm. But I think I, uh, so I I'm thinking we'll probably have one more episode, one more regular episode of Emerald, um, because I want to do some of that legendary stuff. We can catch Rayquaza, but folks, um, I have been kind of trying to keep this a little bit of a of a thinly veiled secret but we are gonna do some battle frontier um in this emerald playthrough um basically it'll be kind of like a sub playthrough of the playthrough because if you didn't know there is an area at the end of this game called the battle frontier it's a really cool like post-game battle area and we are going to be building a team specifically for that. And I really want to chronicle like what that journey kind of looks like as well, because that's basically a whole nother like game within the game um, that you can play. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, and here's the end, the end. Ah, delightful. Um, so, we can have a little bit more of the main story, and then we're going to get into our Battle Frontier arc. Um, so here we are in our room. I'll go ahead and save again because I have anxiety. Um, but yeah, um, that's the end of the main story of Emerald, but we still have plenty more to go. I am so stoked. Um, it's going to be really, really fun. But... Thank you all for being here with me today. Uh, we'll probably stop there. That was a really, really great um, Pokemon League. Um, some really good battles. And with that, uh, thanks again. I appreciate you all very, very much. Um, it really was a good series of battles. Thanks, Cry. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, more to come. Appreciate you for the third time. And... Peace. Have a good weekend.